Good morning. Today is Sunday, October 20th. I'm waiting for the vlog from yesterday to finish uploading. And if I remember, I'll post a link to the apple crumble for the Instapot I made last night. Um, it wasn't bad. I did, you know, write in a couple of Facebook groups with the pictures I took saying, you know, I had a consistency of applesauce. It wasn't bad. It smelled good. And a couple people wrote saying that it happened to them too. Because um, I didn't know what I did wrong. And somebody else said that because it's not baked, so it wouldn't get crispy. It's more like steamed. That um, that would happen. But I knew it wouldn't be like crispy like you would get in the oven. But I didn't expect to get applesauce <laughs> with crumble on top. So... But, and then after it cooled off, you know, last night, the pot cooled off. I put it in a container so I could wash the pot and I can make my yogurt. I made it start it around 9.30 and it takes about eight hours. So I'm thinking about 5.30 it would be done. And once it's done, I take the liner out and put it in the refrigerator for four hours and then once that's done I'll you can strain it if you want to and that's more like the consistency of Greek yogurt but you don't have to and I'm not going to this time maybe next time I'll strain it and you use cheesecloth for that and you can save the whey for something else I forget what <laughs> but um yeah and if I remember I'll post the link to this recipe for the instant pot the yogurt and I'll show you what the apple crisp looks like now in the refrigerator I didn't have any this morning but yeah looks like applesauce with crumble on it and it so and makes a lot for one person I'm like, starting to think if you can strain it I mean not strain it um freeze it Oh, and when I made this, I used the um, Trader Joe's Vanilla Bean Maple Syrup. So I thought it would give it some extra flavor. Because the recipe calls for maple syrup. And I'm like, oh, I'll use that. And, yeah, so after I made that, I showered and got dressed. Get picked up for lunch. I don't know what time yet. Because lunch is at noon, um, so I'm guessing around, no, lunch is at 1, so I'm guessing around noon or so they'll come get me, and tomorrow going to the movies, going to see Adam's family, and I'll get more details on that at lunch today, and what else? Oh, I looked at my Chase account this morning, and... Um, the money isn't in yet. I'm not surprised because it's Sunday, so I'm hoping tomorrow I will get in and, and I still have to mail those three bills. I'm waiting for two more checks to clear and one shouldn't take this long because it's local. But I don't have to check my phone again. But anyway... I think that's about it for right now. I'm going to finish this, try to find a decent thumbnail, and post that recipe, and finish getting ready. Not that I have much to get ready for, but anyway, <laughs> that's it for now. See you guys. Good evening. I've been back home for a while. It's about 8 o'clock at night. Um, lunch was good. I, you know, I was going to have soup because it, it was going to... It was one of the cheaper things on the menu. Or I was going to get brunch because when we were there, brunch was still available. Then um, I was going to get like French toast or something like that. Oh, well, yeah, French toast. But I ended up getting a fried chicken sandwich. And they put coleslaw on the sandwich because I asked. And they said, because I asked if they put it on the sandwich. And he said, yes. And I'm like, no, I want it on the side. Because, <laughs> ew, I'm not crazy about coleslaw anyway. And it's, I don't like it on the sandwich. 
my dad had it on a sale on a barbecue sandwich before and he got sick from it so no and um, for my side he reeled off some you know french fries sweet potato tater tots um, and onion rings and I'm like onion rings not, not thinking that they would charge me extra for that and I know most places charge you extra for onion rings and a replacement of fries but I didn't even think of that so when I got the bill and I saw the two dollar charge for french fries I'm like I mean not french a two dollar charge for onion rings I'm like I should have gotten french fries or the sweet potato tater tots oh well <laughs> And the onion rings weren't that, and they were good, but they weren't crispy. But anyway, so then, you know, they dropped me off around 3.30, and then I started working on the diamond painting. So I still had time, still going for the yogurt when I came home. So I worked on that, and I filmed it, and then I stopped and took a little break put the yogurt away. I'll show you. The yogurt away and then went back to working on it a little bit more. And there it is. I had to, I was going to put it over here, but because of the lid, I couldn't fit it in there. So, and rearrange some stuff and I had the rest of the yogurt to use to make that um, for a little snack. <laughs> you know, I wasn't that hungry but I considered it as my dessert. So I worked on the diamond painting a little bit more and by then I looked at the Logitech program that I use for my filming the video for it and I noticed there was a button and the microphone button where you can click on it and it mutes the microphone on the webcam. I'm like, I should have known that before because that one came in handy because I was listening to a couple podcasts um, while working on it. Or if I watch TV, you know, you won't hear the TV. Well, I mute it and I, I muted the clips anyway. So um, by the time I was done, because I just I stopped around 7.30 and I decided to edit and of course I just realized I didn't take a picture of the, you know, what I did so far so I could put it at the end of the video, but I will take one and put it for my um, thumbnail when I upload it to YouTube. So when I put all the clips together, it was about four hours long. It was like three hours and 57 minutes or something like that. But by the time I, you know, um, speeded up all the clips, it was down to like a half hour. I think I can see it. Like 30, and oh no, I can't see it. Yeah, 30 minutes and some 41 seconds. So it's still a long video, but it's better than, um, four hours. <laughs> and, you know, I added music. I did go back to YouTube and downloaded some more music um, because I didn't have that much on the PC or on the laptop before. I had like maybe five or six clip, um, music, <coughs> music clip, music files. So, yep. So now it's encoding or processing the video so it'll probably take all night so and now that I know what this program works I'm just gonna let it go all night and do its thing but I'll show you what I've done so far with the diamond painting I put it in here because I used that table for the playing around with the computer so. yep I'm almost done with this section. I could have, you know, kept working, but my hand was getting a little sore from working on it. So, and then tomorrow, 
I'm going in the movies, like I said. I think they're picking me up around 1 or so. And some of us are going to see... Oh, I have to fix that. Some of us are going to see um, Adam's Family. And some of them are going to see... Melissa, ah, the Sleeping Beauty villain. <laughs> and um, then we're going to go to Marie Calendar for a pie. I guess that's what they usually do after the movie. So that would be yummy. I haven't had Marie Calendar in a long time. Well, pie, their pie in a long time. So, yep. I think these are her wings that I'm working on. And I'm starting to work on her face and hair up here. So that's about it for today. And I'll see you guys later.